Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're going to continue on with our Repense de Lyonnais campaign. And, uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, um, we're, we're going to want these ruins. Yeah, we're going to want these in a minute. I say in a minute. Could be a while. We've still got uh, a few turns to run over here, but still, we're going to get over here. It's going to be great. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to fight some Skaven. Unless, of course, these are actually all ruins, which would be very surprising. Um be very, very surprising. But you never know. They might just be ruins. Wouldn't that be a weird twist? Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, also, this guy, uh, Sir John the Liar, he's still... Yeah, I'm not sure if he's ever going to find those lizards, honestly. Those, uh, yeah, the last of Tlaqua might just get taken out by Sudenberg. I'm not sure. Either way, um, he's going to be on their tail, and we can wipe them out. That'll be fun. And uh, this chap is going to eventually recruit a bunch of new units, including some foot squires and um, that last... Uh, questing knight unit, and he's going to pick a fight with some greenskins, I reckon. Yep, so that's the plan. Oh, and also we'll do something about this vampiric corruption, because this place is a mess. Look at this. Ugh. God, Nagash. Not a good bloke. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, confederation, huh? Well, that's a bit annoying. Greenskins getting more powerful. Oh well. And it was a broken nose. Oh, and Tlaqua, they're gone. Unlucky tic tac toe. But hey, at least you don't have to worry about that guy trying to assassinate us anymore, so that's rather nice. Uh, right, let's try and get over here with him, shall we? Um, he needs water. Alright, let's get you water first. Bit annoying. But it is what it is. Uh, we'll go uh, via the Black Pyramid Nagash, because it's starting to get a bit upset with us because of the ridiculous corruption. I mean, he's heading up to 87, which is absolutely obscene. We really need to get this upgraded. Population surplus, another seven turns before we can upgrade the pyramid. Ugh. Let's see. If I get rid of the Tailors... I mean, I can I can get the Grail Shrine, so I think I'll get rid of the Tailors. I don't think we need it. So let's get rid of that, and we'll start getting the Grail Shrine. It's too important. It's just too important, guys. Uh, right, uh, you go via Numas. I want to make sure we keep getting water, you see. I don't want to suffer that desert attrition at any time. And you head to Qatar. So, yep, yeah, nearly there. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Our income still going up, which is nice. Almost on 10k again. I mean, it will drop again a little bit once that questing night's done. We get the foot squires, but still, we're, we're increasing it as we go, which is nice. So, let's continue on again. Alright, technology researched. So, Bretonia, maybe. Want to hang out with me now? Let's see. Nope. Oh, these guys are the worst. Uh, well, he might be up for it. Give him military access. Are you going to trade with me? Good. Good. Bordelow will. But, uh, yeah, just. Dionco, he's being a right. Right douchebag. Uh, we'll wait, though. Next turn, that should go up a lot. Cool. Uh, anything else? Period. Then really don't like us much, you know? They don't like us much. I think I need to win over the High Elves as well if I'm going to keep trading. So let's try and do that too. So, yep. Overseas Diplomacy. Let's do that one next. Lovely. Alright, you start... Uh, ooh, actually, no, you need to head over here. You get to Bel Aliad because I don't want you suffering attrition for no reason. Good. Good stuff. And foot squires. They take two turns as well. Of course they do. Ugh. It's taking forever to get this army going, but it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, I say that. Will it? I think we need to go with an even number so we can get more foot squires. Boop. Wow, local recruitment capacity is big here. Very big. Also, yeah, more of those. Lovely. Uh, Kemri, what have you got for me? Walls? Yeah, we can, we can walls. And you... Mm. Yeah, let's do that. And you can get the Grail Shrine. Uh, so, untainted plus two. And untainted adjacent uh, actually goes up with these as well. So that's actually helping. That's helping uh, the Black Pyramid. Which is crazy to think that that's helping. And yet, yeah, two osmosis. And yet still heading towards 87. Just 20 is a lot. 20. Like, plus 20 vampiric corruption is a ludicrous amount. It really is. Really is. Oh, well. Uh, right. To Qatar. You guys. Uh, yeah, better garrison. Might as well. Uh, yep. I like that too. And now we can't afford that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with the farm. Cool. Oh, we're above 10k again. Lovely. Right, I think that'll do us for now. Let's move to the next turn again. Hello, Sudenberg. What do you want? Defensive alliance. I'm actually going to agree to that. Um, because the fact is, like with these two nations here, Sudenberg and um, uh, whatever these guys are called. What are you called again? I completely forgot what they're called. Greybeard's Prospectors, that's the one. Uh, they're both kind of landlocked in my own territory, right? They're, they're stuck in my territory. So they don't have a bunch of neighbours that can declare war on them. So they're mostly going to be declaring war on my behalf if I win them over. So I don't have the same drawbacks as I normally would um, trying to win people over in most campaigns. Uh, gifted musicians. A conclave of your generals has uh, struck upon the notion of pressing popular musicians into military service. This has come as a shock to the performers in question, but has proved an instant hit with the troops, and they are marching harder than ever before. Army movement range has increased. Zutelo. Job done. Let's, uh, let's upgrade this, shall we? It's going to be expensive, but untainted plus three adjacent regions, and we're going to need that. I need to, I need to get rid of this. I need this not to be a disgusting uh, vampiric uh, wasteland in the middle of my territory. I don't like it. Don't like it. Anyway, you there. Blade shield, why not? Huzzah. And you're just going to sit and wait for a minute. Cool. Although, ugh, I need to get rid of one of these, don't I? Yeah, I actually need to cancel one of these so I can get her in. That's sort of irritating. Again. But fine. Fine. I mean, having a spellcaster is too important. Too important. Right, what next? What next? We've got a little bit of cash. Can we spend over here? Maybe. I guess we'll just go with this, because we can. Just so it'll stop telling us that we need to build things over there. Oh, and that. That's nice. And you. Rapunce. I know you. <laughs> I'm well aware of your work. Uh, yeah, you start heading over here. Colonization apparently going to cost 800, but uh, something tells me that it's not empty. Just a hunch with its 81% Skaven corruption. It's, uh, it's quite high. It's quite high, that. Quite high. This might actually be quite a good settlement, too. I think that's uh, this is where Queek starts, isn't it? So, yeah. This this could be tough. This could be tough. In fact, these should probably all be foot squires by now. But, oh well. <laughs> what What's a boy to do? Right, uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Next turn it is. Alright, so, uh, Marc Ludard just got a level up. I'm pretty sure he needs to get five so he can complete his vow. So we'll see how well that goes. Uh, what else are you getting over here? What can I get over here? Um, oh, one thing I need to do over here, actually, is build the, um, whatever it's called. This thingy. Night Watch. Definitely gonna need Night Watch. That minus 50% penalty. Uh, I mean, that's just for the public order penalty. It won't actually get rid of the corruption, but it's still going to help. It's going to keep these place, you know, this place yes. a little bit, bit more, um, a little bit happier, you know? Also, because I've got a fair bit of money, I might swap these man arms out from here while I babysit. It's going to take a few turns, huh? It's going to take quite a few turns. But still pretty fewer turns than if I go over there. Although, ugh, eight turns total because the recruitment is so... Rubbish. Uh, I mean, you're done now, though, so that's something. So you get in there. You level up. Let's get training. I want these guys to get some chevrons, because they're all looking a bit rubbish, aren't they? It's not, not great. So, yeah, you're going to have to run over here, I think. Unless... Oh, you can go here, too, for those foot squires. So can you reach? You can. Excellent. Excellent. What's with the attrition? Oh my god, it's the vampiric corruption. It's that bad that I'm suffering attrition. Wow. That's disgusting. Anyway. Let's do that. That is suddenly a much better army. In fact, I could swap out the spearmen at arms for uh, more pole arms. That could be very handy too. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go one and one. It's going to take three turns because I've run out of them. Oh well, that's better than eight, right? That's a lot better than eight turns. I think we can all agree. I would like to swap out some of the Knights Errant for better Knights as well, but... I don't know. We've got a very good infantry core there, so we probably don't have to worry too, too much. Um, also, what do we want over here? Anything? Probably not, honestly. Could go for the Pock Shelter for the replenishment rate. I think that could be useful, actually. I think that could actually be useful. Although, if we went for this here... 
Um, so yeah, extra armor when defending, and extra melee defense when defending. So we could just bait orcs into attacking us um, on the border, and we'd get huge melee defense buffs, which would be really nice. So I might do that. I might actually do that. We'll see. We'll see. I'll 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 sit on it for a bit. Oh, what have you got to upgrade? Oh, just an empty slot here. Uh, we can get the windmill. There we go. Cool. Uh, right. So. Oh dear. <laughs> I, I'm suddenly very nervous about this. Oh look, we've discovered some rats. Who would have guessed? Can you imagine? My surprise. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Uh, so, what have they got? Uh, oh, alright. Some storm vermin, plague claw catapults. Some slings. Like, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Um, I mean, if we had foot squires, then I'd be laughing. Foot squires be able to deal with these storm vermin very quickly. Um, but as it stands, their toughest things are very good at dealing with our toughest things. Which I don't like much, honestly. I don't like that much at all. But, um... I think we just smash through the gates. We can basically just ignore the storm vermin. So, I think we're good. We'll just have um, Ari Le Massive get rid of the catapult for us and bother things on the walls. I think I think we'll be fine. So, let's do it. Okay, so, Trebuchet. You chill at the back and uh, hopefully kill storm vermin. Uh, all you lot, for starters, I want you back here. Um, there will be a problem with uh, rat summons coming in. There will be some of those. So let's put these on top of them in case they get, you know, attacked. I'll just have people there that can deal with them. Uh, yeah, Paladin of Bretonia, you chill. And uh, yeah, you guys also chill out here for now. Cool. And oh, I want to put some people back here. I think I do. I think I do. Alright, let's do that. Maybe these guys should run in. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, that'll do. I'll send these guys over there, maybe. Take that gate. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, could take out that Warlock Engineer very quickly, actually. So, let's, let's do that. Um, and yeah, that catapult's not going to do much to us. So, don't worry much there. And <laughs> missile resistance coming in handy. Uh, so it's a storm vermin I want to get rid of, really. So can you do that? Nice little charge bonus, and did very little. Come on, mate. Mess him up, yeah? Come on. Just keep keep knocking him about. Come on. Hit him. There we go. That gets a third of his health. And should probably tell those guys to stay put, huh? <laughs> Two hits and he's basically dead. Three hits and he's nearly dead. Come on, one more hit. Oh, he's shattered. Cool. Alright. Get rid of that artillery, yeah? Excellent. Uh, so I'm assuming some rats have been summoned. They have. They have. They're not doing much. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, Alright. So, dude. <laughs> it's a weird route through, but that's fine. Uh, it would be quite nice if they were trying to attack me still. Alright, come on mate. There we go. Cool. Oh, and there's summoning units back here as well. They're wasting their summons trying to deal with Henri. Perfect. Alright, you're still trying to kill them? You are, but you're not doing a very good job of it, are you? And yeah, again, that should be... That should be fine. Good lads. Uh, should I move these up now? I think I will, because there's no... There's just nothing up here that's really threatening me. So, might as well. Okay, good. Alright, you two. Let's get you guys involved. Or well, you girls, I should say. And, yep. Yep, there goes the artillery. Perfect. Uh, then, I don't know, I might do hit and runs. On these guys, because I can heal them up pretty happily, you know. So we can't afford to do some hit and runs. Take out those clan rats, maybe. But I'll make sure those uh, play clock catapult crews are gone. Can't have them loitering about, can I? And <laughs> they're basically already broken. Yeah, I think we're probably good. 
Uh, oh, I just get a little bit shot. Not that happy about it, but it'll do. So that's another job well done. And could just go for the range units up here now, actually. But, nah. Do a little hit and run here. 175 charge bonus. It's quite good. It's quite good, isn't it? You're going to do a nice little jump through. Yeah, like, kind of like that, but the other way. Go on, mate. Go on. Big old... I mean, look at those stats. Come on, you can do better than this. Bit disappointed. Bit disappointed. Alright. Get rid of those man arms yeah? Oh, yeah, they're, they're fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you guys, over there, please. Alright, they're on the way up. It's taking a while. And, yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting through. We're getting through. Yeah, he's, he's getting some hurt in there. And uh, they're not immune to psychology, so they will terrify away fairly quickly. Alright, go for him next. Only 27 kills with the field trebuchet, but it's uh, better than nothing. And yeah, I think you guys have probably probably got this. <laughs> uh, can you reach him? Nah, not quite. Almost. Almost. Alright, you back out for now. Okay, you guys get stuck in again. Good stuff. Okay, good. And, yeah, let's get another charge in. In fact, let's... Let's even overcast it. Might as well. There we go. Job done. Alright, so that's all going well. That's ridiculous. I love it. Uh, right, how are you doing now? Still 27? Oh, it's because they're up here now. It's a pain. That's also a pain. Where are you guys? Jerks. Alright, what can I hit? With the waking of the wood. Oof, look at all this nonsense. There's a lot going on over here. You know what? I'm just going to heal them up. I'll heal up my guys. You dealt with them yet? No, you haven't. Come on, buddy. You can kill them. Just dive through there. That'd be lovely. If you could do that. Or I'm just attacking one random guy on the end. There we go. Now they're terrified. And he's taking no damage thanks to healing. Oh, I love Earth Blood and Regrowth. They're jolly wonderful. And uh, let's see up melee defense so you guys are looking a bit sharper. Still taking a long time to get through this gate, though, I must say. And oh, Storm Vermin did return. Did get over their terror. But they're still taking some pretty significant damage. Uh. Okay, look like we were actually through the gates then for a second with the flags there. Oh well. How you lot doing? Yeah, still getting through those storm vermin. But it's taking some time. Okay, how about you guys get up to? I don't like these towers shooting at me. Uh, getting rid of them yet? Almost. Almost. Yeah, that'll do. You you come back here and help finish these guys off. If we just terrify them, then, you know, then we're laughing. Just need to terrify him. Okay, let's get some more healing in. Just keep him healed up. Hopefully we won't lose so many models. And then just remain in the fight for longer. And yeah, they should terrify immediately. I just need to get over here and they're going to terrify. Okay, come on. Go on, mate. Nearly there. Alright, now how's this looking? 74% damage on the gate. Not bad. And boop. Oh, look, they terrified. How about that? Okay, excellent. You guys keep chasing them down. Uh, you, I guess, just get rid of those gutter runners. There's still a couple units of storm vermin to deal with. But, I mean, look at the bounce power. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so yeah, he's broken. So that's good. Alright, go deal with them, please. And, oh, they're getting shot at now, which is nice to see. How are you doing? 77 kills. I think you've been hitting those slings. That's nice. So, yep, they terrified away. Straight away. Almost through. Almost through over here. Almost through. 
And I can actually hit them a little bit. Oh. Might have to give it a go. Right, you jump down here. Oh, there you go already. Never mind. Uh, you guys climb up here, because you can. And, alright, we're through. Uh, not sure how to deal with these guys easily, honestly. Hmm. I mean, bounce power, again, is just crazy in my favour, so... Whoops. Come on, guys. I'm pretty sure I told you guys to come in. Come on. Thank you. So let's hit these guys. Start whittling them down. Bit of damage. Bit of damage. Nothing great. Nothing great, but it's not terrible. Alright, you guys charge in again. Good lads. And, yeah, you guys just run in. You guys just get stuck in over here, yeah? Cool. No more terror. That's what I'd like see. Those storm vermin. Oh, they're starting to run. They're starting to run. Cool. Alright. Keep getting rid of these guys. Tell you what. Go, go get stuck in, yeah? Go get stuck in. He'll be fine. He's got plenty of healing left in his healing cap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, actually. I mean, not the greatest. But it's not bad. Okay, you get stuck in too. And, okay, we'll hit with another away from the wood in a minute. Just going to keep bombarding them. Might as well. And you can get stuck in too. And, ah, yeah, archers start to fire as well. And the other storm vermin are coming in. It's just giving us better value for money here. Excellent. Alright, you get stuck in. Ah, they're all terrified. We win. Good job. Good job, aren't we? Good job with your 200 kills. He basically just did it on his own, didn't he? We still lost a few peasants, but we did good. Excellent. So what I find novel is when you look at the kills, like the amount that we had lost compared to the amount of kills that they got, all the damage we took was from towers and summoned clan rats. That was it. Like, the army did nothing. Uh, gained a load of chivalry, though. Which is good. It's going up. It's going up. Right, what do we want? Do we want to occupy it? Uh, we'll get 30 chivalry if we raise it. We'll get 30 grand if we sack it, but honestly, we're making enough money that this doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually going to occupy it, because I want to actually occupy all these lands, I think. Um, yeah, I think, I think I just want to take everything along the bottom of the map. Cool. Good stuff. So, what have we got here? Uh, ooh, very nice stable. We get grail knights. That would be... That'd be pretty tasty. Uh, also, we're kind of out of money. We're kind of out of money, so we can't get much else here just yet. Uh, walls would be very nice here. Walls, I think, would be very nice. But that's fine. Uh, what else do we want here? Let's see. I mean, Devoted to the Goddess might be quite nice. But it's just not going to be as good as this one, is it? The plus five um, untainted. Not be as good as spending three skill points for three. So I might not bother. Guided by the lady. Chivalric good. I mean, that's pretty good too. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe I'll just make her better. Let's let, Yeah, let's get Deadly Onslaught for Repulse. I think that's nice. So we'll go up with her charge bonus. We'll start making her a better fighter. Uh, Henri, let's get you. God, I have no idea. More armor might be fun. God, he's getting real good. Uh, let's go Scarred Veteran. Let's do that. Let's make him tougher. And for you, can't quite get Arcane, can't do it. Almost. Almost. Let's make Regrowth better. Perfect. Right. This one. Yeah, we do need a bit of extra money. If only we'd sacked it. But uh, then we wouldn't have it, so we wouldn't need the money in the first place. Oh, well. Right. So, you are ready to go. That's excellent. Uh, and they're recruiting. So, let's see. Do we want Mogan of the Flame or Sir John the Liar to be dealing with greenskins? Hmm. They're both... They're both pretty good armies. I feel like Mogan of the Flame has a better army yeah. than Sir John the Liar. Um, this should do against greenskins rather well, though, I think. They've got the healing... Which thing is nice to keep these, you know, our armored units in the fight. Orc boys and things won't be a problem. 
Uh, for things like Black Orcs, might be a little bit more tricky. It would be good to have some armor piercing, but I think if we just charge them enough with Knights Out, we could probably whittle them down. So I think this is probably fine. Um, this one I think is going to be better against... Actually, you know what? This is way more armor piercing. I think this is probably better against Greenskins. Uh, but Heavens is great against Skaven. So uh, it's pretty good against Greenskins too, though. You can wipe out Goblin Archers and all sorts. Just, uh, you know, get rid of them nice and quickly. So, yeah, either one. Either one. I think we'll send Sir John over this way. Just because he's closer. Although, it's going to take him, what, three turns? We can easily overtake him. So, alright. Mogan, you're heading over here. I want to head down here. I'm trying to head him over here so he can hold the fort, as it were. And uh, I can have Rapance uh, conquer. She can just go through all these territories. Because you've got the, you know, the siege equipment. So with Siege Attacker, I can uh, keep on the move better. I can I can take these out a lot quicker, which I think may be more beneficial. So we'll see. Hmm. Also, this game corruption is going down, mostly thanks to characters though. So could be a little tough. Events four really that could be something to do with a Skaven event though. We'll see. I'll we'll just need to take that one out. All right, let's end the turn, and we can build this place up a bit. All right, so. Boom. I want obsidian. Um, I don't need it, mind you, because actually it'd be much better to uh, put that off and go with the night watch and walls so I can actually defend this place and uh, it won't rebel every five seconds. Although, it rebelling every five seconds with a bunch of Skaven armies might be very beneficial to us if I'm just going to try and hold this area. Um, it's just an annoying place to hold, really, because nothing can attack me from the north. Um, this little mountain pass is very irritating. I, I don't like this as a feature. Um, it's mainly, mainly when you're playing Queek, I, I really dislike it, because you can't really go north. I mean, technically it defends this side for you, but a lot of the time, you know, an early Skaven campaign, you'd much rather be fighting things like Greenskins than uh, Dwarfs. So, and, and, yeah, the Undead, which, of course, are going to startle all of your clan rats away. So, it's a bit annoying. It would be nice to be able to go that way, but... Oh well. Uh, right. So, hmm, that, this isn't a place I'm going to be sitting in, is it? That might be, though. Granite Massive might be. So, I think I will put off Night Watch then. Although, while I'm babysitting it, it's... Yeah. Alright, I'll keep the Night Watch going. I'll just... I'll get rid of that hassle. Um, I'll get rid of the hassle from the beginning. I can always raid my own territory. Why not? <laughs> I know. Technically, you shouldn't. Oh, wow. I get the... Hmm. Yeah, Blessed Field Trebuchets. That could be fun. That could be very fun. Maybe later. It's quite expensive. Uh, right, Mogan. Keep on the move, yeah? And you guys, two more turns. Try not to suffer from too much desert attrition before uh, before I get to you. Uh, new mass has been leveled up. Okay. Hmm, what can I get here, then? Um, already got the farms. Already got walls. So I could go with things like the Grail Shrine, because that will have untainted to nearby provinces, which will actually help all the Skaven nonsense. So maybe I should do that. And training fields as well. So that way I can recruit more armies here if need be. Cool. All right. Uh, that's it again, isn't it? Um, I think we want to wait one more turn. Or do we? Should I take... I feel like Granite Massive should be the next one I take, but maybe... I'll have Mogan of the Flame do that, and I can just make a start attacking these ones. Because no idea where Queek is, but I bet he's somewhere over here somewhere. I'm not really sure how big his empire is right now. We'll, we'll attack Mount Arachnos now, I think. Because, yeah, we've lost a few peasants, but the bulk of our army's still fine. And, yep, totally fine. All right, Banning. You're getting banned, mate. Job well done. Right, again... Oh, it would be great to get the chivalry, but we're getting chivalry anyway just for fighting them, right? Right? Yeah, we're getting 10 per fight, so it's it's going up. It's going up. We just need 200 battles, and we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is going to take a while. Uh, right, let's have a look here. So, um, Devastating Charge. Perfect. Let's get that. Also, you. Let's go with Scarred Veteran. And for you, can't quite get Arcane Conduit. Let's get Magical Reserves first. And that'll do. Excellent. Also, I'm going to have a quick look at research. 
And, yep, sewer cleaning decree is what I need. I'm going to start doing that. That we've got a good head start on. So I can go back to it in a bit. But we're going to need the extra chivalry against Gaven. It's not a huge thing, but the extra untainted would be really useful too. So, yeah, we're going to try and get that now. Should have tried to get that done in advance. I just want to make sure that, you know, Lathern don't declare war on me. Because they do get really stroppy sometimes. You know, they, they're usually quite powerful. So they do declare war on all sorts of people. Uh, at the drop of a hat. They're very annoying like that. Very annoying like that. So, anyway. It's fine. We'll focus on the attack. Alright, so. Uh, there's no real point stopping. So we're going to keep on moving. Uh, I still don't see Queek anywhere. If he does attack us, like, I honestly don't mind losing a territory if it just means attacking him again. So, no harm done. But yeah, it looks like we're going to take all this stuff rather quickly and easily. Which I like to see. So let's go with the water wheel. Let's put that up. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting the stable up. But we'll get the walls. Alright, you keep running. You got, what, one more turn? One more turn. Cool. Uh, Kemri. I hadn't decided what I'm building there yet. But I was thinking probably the armory. Uh, but first, yep, let's keep building this stuff up. Get some more trade goods and things. Um, or go with the water wheel. Let's go with the water wheel first. Right, so, wow. Getting 10,000 band one per turn. I sure rather like that. Um, it's nice just being on 10k perpetually. I've got to say, both Repance and Snitch, I've just had crazy income on both of those campaigns. So, it's rather, it's rather different. I don't often have huge income. Uh, what do you want, Krokka? Non-aggression pact. Uh, he's actually got fairly good little foothold here, but it's not great. It does look like Queek is dominating this area. And it even looks like the Greenskins are pushing into this area. Um, and of course, we've got the new area over here to take, which is nice. New part of the map. So, yeah, we're going to keep pushing this way. Move on to these islands. Move through here. We're, we're just going to take all of this nonsense. Um, I don't know how much of it will be decent climate, but apparently all of this side of the mountains is good climate. So I don't think we want to side with Krokgar. Um, because, yeah, he, the lady, the Kro you know, the Lizardmen, they're not worshipping the lady like a proper civilised race should. And they're not human. And uh, Bretonia are horribly xenophobic. So uh, screw you guys. <laughs> Non-aggression fact. Mm, no. Hello, Bowman of Orion. Orion. Orion, whatever. Defensive alliance. Uh yeah, yeah, I think so. We're gonna we're gonna win over all the people that are within our realm. Um, all the people that we've decided we like. I mean that's the thing, we are xenophobic, but uh, you know, being Bretonia, scared of anything that's new, anything that doesn't seem to be um anything that seems like monstrous, you know? But we are well aware of elves and men. And so we do have truces with them, you know. Elves and men and dwarfs, you know, all the all those noble races. Um, but yeah, we'll. I'm happy to to play ball with them. But yeah, lizardmen, they're the unknown. We don't trust them. So uh, the gods of our enemies have directly intervened in our interests, sowing destruction across the realm, and we confront a god's wrath. Uh, I don't know. Just light some incense, I suppose. And again, pretty straightforward. We'll occupy that too. Good. Scarecrow banner. Oh, good. How useful. Right. Foseeker. Brilliant. We're on our way to Deadly Onslaught. I want to make her a better fighter. She's a great fighter already, but I want to make her a better fighter. Just keep improving her. Alright. Head to Qatar. And, yeah. Better walls here. Because I'm... Oh. Hello. Looks like, uh... Krokgar may have defeated Queek over here, you know. Because he may have done it. Which is interesting. Lamia still going, which is cool. So we'll be able to fight, um... What's-a-face. You know the one. Also, we have met Karaza Karak. So maybe I can trade with them. It depends if they have a port or not. Also, Karan, are you ready to trade? They are. Finally. Finally. Karaza Karak can't trade with them. They don't have a port. Uh, 14 settlements, though. They are actually doing rather well. It seems they just have all the mountains, by the looks of it. it seems they took all the mountains north. And the Greenskins have got, like, a serious empire over here. Also, they don't like us much. Why don't you like me much? Treaties of the Greybeard's Prospect is in great power. Alright, be weird. Don't really want to fight Thorgrim. But, oh well. 
If we have to, I suppose I will. Orders. Suppose I will. Uh, oh, and he's a war with clan wars. I'm not going to tell him to attack anyone, though, because I want the territory. I don't want him to have any. Because I'm selfish like that. Alright, how are we doing in trade, anyway? Like, three grand per turn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not half bad. Lord and you're finally done. So, Sir John the Liar, you can hang out there. And how's the Black Pyramid looking? Pretty unhappy. Pretty unhappy at the moment. And one more turn, and we can actually upgrade it, which is brilliant. That's really good. That's really good. Give us five construction slots, so we'll get another couple. So we can build the, uh, what are they called again? The, the Night Watch, as well as something else, I guess. Maybe. How's this looking? It's going to... It's trending 74%. It's still rising. God. Awful. Absolutely awful. We could do with another Grail building over here, too, you know. Uh, in fact, this is a bit silly. That's not earning anything, is it? These are at odds with each other, completely. Yep. So, that can go. And, oh my god, really? And that's still being built. They can both go, because we're building these. Or, do I want to keep these and get rid of industry? I'll get rid of industry. I don't need that. What a stupid thing that I've been doing in the Black Tower. Oh well. Uh, that's what happens when I'm barely paying attention. It's just like, oh yeah, whatever, building slices, build stuff. Don't need recruitment, so I'll just build these. Build more farms. Nope. <laughs> need to keep an eye out. I'm sure you guys have been screaming at me in comments, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, I mean, look at my income. We're not really hurting. I'll pay attention when I need to. So, unassigned skill points for Sasha Parvan. Excellent. Finally get Arcane Conduit. That's what I like to see. And, yeah, we will need to declare war on the Orcs at some point, I think. We'll need to do that soon. Probably get another army down here. Just because we can. You know, if it's just, like, one dude with a bunch of foot squires. Because, I mean, look, our peasant economy is pretty ridiculous. It's pretty insane. God. <laughs> God, that upkeep reduction as well when he got that. Love it. So, uh, yep, yeah, 10 to 10. Alright, demolished a few buildings. Hooray. <laughs> we did it. Didn't affect our income at all, because they were getting, um, they were there for stupid reasons. Let's see, uh, is that? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Build a, build another grail thing there. It'll lower vampiric corruption here as well, which I like to see. Uh, what else could we build then? Build that armory. Screw it. Let's actually start building those. I've decided. I have decided. And, ooh, we can upgrade this too. And there goes all my money. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. Camry, again, I'll make up my mind later. Um, that is very unhappy. It's a very unhappy place. But that's fine. We're about to go babysit there anyway. And now you head over to Karak Zorn. This is where we're going to finally see an army, isn't it? Uh, yes, but also, like, yeah, who really cares? That's not a problem. Uh, there could still be another one in Karak Zorn, though. There could be a bunch of troops here that might attack us. I hope they do, because that would be fun. I want to actually have a big fight against Gaven. So far, it's been a little bit pathetic. They're just not... Not anything um, causing any problems for us. Uh, but Karak Zorn should have a pretty good garrison. Should be fairly sturdy, you know. Hopefully there's an army there, too. We can have a nice big battle. That's what I'm hoping. But you never know. You never know. Might not be a problem. So, Kemri. Yeah, you you're fine. I don't I don't need another building there. Not really. <laughs> We're good. Also, I just realized we do have that as well. I just realized we do have this getting built. How do I have tool makers everywhere that I have farms? It's very silly. Let's destroy that then. And seeing as how we have all these building slots, I will build a smithy. Oh my god, underway inter interception, really? Okay. That's weird. That's one less storm vermin that was in that army a second ago. What are you doing, mate? How are you doing this? It's ridiculous. Scarecrow banner. Useless, useless thing, Scarecrow banner. But we'll give it to Henri the Massive in case he has to fight anyone in the air. Um, yeah, yeah, there's no point. Just be dead now. We lost two guys. We lost two men. I think we'll live. Now look at that balance of power against Clan Moors. Like, it's actually very even between us and Clan Moors. So where on earth is Queek and his armies? Where are they? That's what I want to know. Because supposedly they do have a lot of armies kicking around. Alright, so that's all fine. Friends of the Frontier. 
Uh, ooh, excellent. This is exactly what we want. Uh, every morning brought more disappearances. The vampire's stolen victims would never be found. Their drained bodies lost in a, uh, in a heartbeat to the pitiless winds and scouring sands of the endless desert. No more. No more. In the name of the lady and in the name of truth and purity. Bretonia's knights have tracked the vile blood drinkers to their nest, thus rendering her people safe from undying evil. For now. So, less vampiric... Um, uh, corruption uh, casualties and also more untainted plus three untainted for all regions so that'll help the black period and the gash rather nicely uh, campaign line of sight for only massive fine and also untainted plus three for him too lovely the court jester the fool dressed in a mot uh, in motley a symbol of Bretonia as much as the grail right let's have a look yep finally upgrade that wonderful and uh, your army's sorted now isn't it yeah, it is. Cool. Uh, what next? Yep, that's it. A smithy. Start building some smithies about the place. Get that extra plus two armor. Oops, I actually clicked on my other monitor. See me. Uh, yep, farm. Oh, do we want to upgrade that instead? Yeah, I'll leave it. It's fine. We're all good. Okay. Level 30. Oh, really massive. I mean, that's his last level. I think it might be. And he got everything else. So yeah, he's he's just killing it. He is absolutely killing it. How about you? Can you get... Yep. Oh, I can't go into it. Lovely stuff. So, attack character zone. What is here? What's here? Anything? No, not really. No. Great. Um, do I auto-resolve this? Bounce power, weirdly bad for us. I don't know why. But I'm going to auto-resolve it. We lost, really, a rank 7 unit mana times of pole armed. That's... It's a right hassle, that is. Um, so, 30 chivalry. But, I mean, we are gaining chivalry fairly quickly at the moment. Um, as long as we keep this up, we will get 2,000, like, fairly... Not even that quickly. Uh, I don't want to raise it, though, and have to take it again. I really don't. But, I mean, if I did that with all of them, that'd be great. But, think how long we'd take with the replenishment being as it is, if I had to actually take each one. Though, I could just have one lord follow her about. You know? I could just do that from now on. So, uh, seeing as how there's nothing else here, I, mm, I want the gold mine. Although I am making so much money anyway. You know what, I'm going to occupy it. We'll start raising stuff later. And just have someone move in afterwards. I think that's a nice way to do it. From now on, I think we'll try and uh, try and do that. Well, let's get rid of that. And, yeah, so we've got the gold mine being built. And we'll go walls. Do we need coaching in? Maybe. Maybe. This place is a bit corrupt at the moment, so they're not very happy. Not the happiest place. And... You know what? I don't want the smithy there. And I don't want that there either, really. So, now we've taken them all, we can restructure. That's fine. Uh, let's go with Blade Shield, because her melee defense is definitely lacking. And Oh, 31. No, we can keep leveling up. Alright, never mind. Let's go with... Full plate armor, why not? And for you... I mean, Flash to Stone would be pretty nice. I do like Flash to Stone. Shield of Thorns is quite nice as well. Okay, it's armor piercing. Um, or extra magic resistance for nearby units. Let's do that, why not? Quite good against more elite Skaven units. Alright, that'll do. Cool. And yeah, let's start hiring some new, uh, new lackeys next turn, I think. Although we do have a lot of building to do down here. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, we definitely want another army. Or a couple. Another big army here, and then another just random lord to follow people about. Um, to take over, you know, any settlement that we decide to raise to the ground. Which will probably be, like, all of the ones over here. Because our economy is fine. We don't really need more territory for our economy. So we can afford to raise a bunch of places. So, I think we're good. Also over here, let's have a look. Control or growth? Let's go growth. Because I want these two to level up nice and quick. Cool. Alright, our tech is done. So Skaven, gonna dislike us, but that's fine by me. And uh, an extra two chivalry per victory and untainted faction-wide, which is really nice. I like that a lot. So, uh, yep, you're gonna wanna head over this way. So go take uh, Granite Massive for me. And now I've got plenty of stuff to build over here. So, let's go with the exotic eggs. Uh, you can have a windmill. And you can have 
Probably need a windmill there as well, actually. Cool. Cool. Because if I have a look, that should be trending towards zero. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's game corruption. Oh, there's still characters here. Okay. Yeah, there's still a few characters loitering around here. They'll probably leave, though. They'll probably leave. Um, so that should be fine. But what I might do... What I might do here... In an attempt to uh, root out evil... Oh, yes. actually, I kind of want the replenishment. Uh, I was thinking I might raid here for a little bit. I might do some raiding. Just to, like, root out the last of Skaven that's still loitering, you see. I think that would be fun. Uh, right, also, let's get this. Overseas diplomacy. Let's try and win over those elves, because they're a right hassle. Um, let's see. Oh, could do that for the beastmen as well, actually. Because we will be fighting some of them. So, not fighting any Norska, not fighting any Vampire Counts or Wood Elves, not fighting any Chaos, not fighting any Dark Elves. But yeah, Beastmen are always turning up. And uh, Vampire Coast, potentially. Potentially, but probably not for a while. Probably not for a while. Extra income from trade would be nice, though. Yeah, a lot of this stuff would be good to get, you know. Extra 10% speed for Cavalry units is pretty huge, in fact. I like that a lot. Um, but no, let's go for Overseas Diplomacy for now. Try and win over the High Elves, make sure they don't uh, don't decide to attack us at any point. And let's upgrade this. Lovely. And, yeah, may as well upgrade that too. Because we've got stuff building everywhere. Uh, now, though, actually, let's shimmy this guy along. I know who you are. We've met. We've met, mate. We've met. Uh, so, yeah, over here, I think I'm going to recruit a lord. Hmm. Don't profit as a heavens. It would be a nice way to get more heavens magic without actually having to um, uh, have to worry about it. Uh, extra chivalry, just for recruiting it, which is nice. Campaign line of sight, that is useful. And extra control. So let's do that. Let's get uh, Genève Michaud. Very low level, but it is what it is. So let's get some archers. And... Hmm... Yeah, a couple of men at arms. Cool. Very nice. So we'll have that army going soon. Uh, we just have so much income, you know. So much. It's kind of ridiculous. And, oh, and Sudenberg's been taken by Sudenberg, finally. Take a while to build it back up, seeing as how it raised to the ground, but, well, it's fine. And, oh, Krokgar has uh, just obscene armies. That's disgusting. Four Ripidactyls, three Feral Carnosaurs, two Feral Stegodons, at least two Sacred Crocsigors, a bunch of stuff we haven't even seen yet. Okay, Crocgar may be a genuine threat. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to fight that. Hell yeah. Awesome. Oh no, he's attacking it. Oh. Oh, he just seemed to have raised it. Interesting. So he didn't take it. Okay, Black Crag just confederated with the Crooked Moon, moon Mutinous Gits. Really? It's odd you can confederate with them. Seeing as how they're like a story element, but alright, fine. Uh, more chivalry, that's nice to see. Agriculturalist. Yeah, just income from farms. Alright, cool. That's nice. Repulse. Nice to know you got green thumbs. Uh, let's continue that then. And do I want... Hmm, don't know what to do with her. I really don't. Uh, could get some more archers. Could get some more archers with her, which would be nice, actually. But, oh, getting some Pegasus Knights would be fun as well. But no, I mean, God, Grail. Grail Knights would be wild. I'd love some Grail Knights in this army. Yeah, I may do that. I might get rid of the Knights Errant, replace them with Grail Knights. Might get rid of the uh, Knights of the Realm as well. Although, they are rank 9, and these are rank 8. I feel like they've earned their spot, you know? But these guys, oh, even then, just huge amount of experience on these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up a bit while I'm loitering about. I think it's gonna cost us a lot. It's gonna take a lot of turns, but like you know, I want to make sure we've got an elite army. Basically, I want to make sure our army is nice and elite. So uh, Grail Guardians would be good, but I think Grail Knights are just outright better. That charge bonus just makes them so much better than everything else. Um, it really does. Although you know, 59 melee defense on Grail Guardians is just sickeningly good. But still, um, so 
Let's see, because it's global, that's going to cost all of the money. So let's not build them yet. Let's start with some foot squires, although global recruitment sucks. So this is going to take a ludicrous amount of time. I just realised how global recruitment slots are really quite rubbish. But, oh well. Um, so yeah, I can only afford to get one in the queue at the moment. But I can afford to get some foot squires too. So we'll just do that for now. Got four turns. She's going to be busy. She's going to be busy sat here for a long time. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so, again, like, I... Ugh, he can't... Or can he? It's a tough one. I don't know if I can fight this. I really don't know if I can fight this with this army. Although we do have Heavens, but I don't know how good Heavens is going to be against this army. Honestly. Because it's all single models that we need to kill. Um... But we do have a lot of armor piercing. We've got some good missile damage we can add to it with poison. We've got some good anti-large. We've got some good armor piercing. You know? So we've got we've got tools. I just don't know if I can deal with this yet. Some of these are about to be injured. Ooh, I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. And maybe I'll instigate this uh, fight next turn. Which will actually be next episode, which is fun. Um, and yeah, we're just going to build up Rapunzel's army and make that elite army that we're going to want for the end of the campaign, I think. I think that's the way to do it. Also, I just realised, uh... Oh. When one of our lords reached the required rank. That's strange. I swear sometimes it's characters, sometimes it's lords that, that demand that. But anyway, we're almost there at rank 27. We'll be get, it would be good to get the Companions of Quinelles. Just to get some decent, uh... Yeah, because they're questing knights, right? It's perfect, because she's a questing knight. We get to get the best questing knights in the realm. But, oh well. We'll have to wait a bit, apparently. We'll have to wait a bit. And, oh yeah. We've got this army to build up as well. Uh, I'll hang on for that. I want to make sure that I've got stuff in the queue for uh, Repulse first. That's going to be costly. Alright, so we're going to maybe attack this next turn. It's, it's going to be nightmarishly difficult, but... I think we're due for a nice difficult fight. It's been far too long since we've had like a decent, like, tough battle. And I like it when you have to work hard for battles. It's a stupid thing to do. Like, if if our only aim is to win, then no, just leave him alone. We're not at war with him, so who cares? But this is supposed to be entertaining, and I think that would be fun. So uh, we may attack him next turn and, yeah, hopefully, hopefully win, but... Maybe not, and that's why it's fun. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.